Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so it's time again for me to do a shop my stash. I think it's been about two to three weeks since I shot my stash and I'm ready for some new stuff. So as usual, I'm just going to go through the products that I've been using from my last shop my stash, give you my thoughts, and then we'll pick some new stuff. I'm going to try to go quickly because I have a lot of stuff to go through and a lot of stuff to pick out because... I want all new stuff <laughs> so i just put everything here in front of me so i'm not digging in drawers and all that stuff um to get stuff so let's just get started so the first thing here that i chose last time was this murad this is the environmental shield rapid age spot and pigment lightning serum <laughs> so this is what it looks like um I like this serum. Of course, I haven't used it long enough to see any difference as far as spots being lightened or anything on my face. I think it has really worked nicely with my complexion. My skin gets pretty bad when it's like that time of the month and this time of year it starts to get really dry. And I noticed that my skin has started to look a little bit better. So I would have to use it longer, of course, to see if what it claims is true. But just from the time that I've used it, I really like it. What I like about it is the fact that um, it does add a really nice boost of hydration to my face. And not only that, it absorbs into my skin easily. So I really like that. It doesn't feel like I just put water on my face. So this is a really nice serum so far, but I'm going to trade this out for something else. Now for my moisturizer, I did choose this Osei Atmosphere Protection Cream. Um, what I do like about this is the fact that, you know, it's supposed to protect you from different things outside, you know, uh, what does it say? Lightweight formula provides protection against extreme climates and air pollution, antioxidant, rich oils and organic seaweed, firm skin and leaves a silky finish. Now, from the way that this sounds, since it is an atmosphere protection cream, it sounds like you can actually use this all over your body, not just on your face. That's what I'm assuming. It is vegan and cruelty free. I like this. It's a nice, rich, thick moisturizer. Feels kind of like a lotion. Um, it doesn't have a crazy scent to it. It's a nice light scent. And I really liked using this. This is something actually that would be nice for me to throw in my purse because I would use this on my face and on my hands, you know, when they get dry. So although I'm not leaving the house right now and I don't need any like <laughs> pollution or outside protection, I think this is a nice moisturizer. Very, very nice. Now for primer, I did pick this Milani Prime Protect. Um, this one is SPF 30. And honestly, my thoughts on this is I just feel like this is more of a SPF than a primer. I think that that's what it feels like to me. It just feels like whenever I use this, like I was just putting a SPF on more so than a primer. It didn't do anything to my skin that I like primers to do you know, like fill in my pores or blur my skin out or anything like that. It just felt like a nice SPF type lotion, something you put on outside for sun protection. So I guess it's good for that if I wanted to use this underneath a primer that does more for me. But I don't know if I would want to put that many products on my face. So in my opinion, this is just a good SPF, but not a primer for me. Now for foundation, I did choose two foundations. So the first one is the Milani Screen Queen. This one is in the shade 480 Spiced Toffee. I find that I really, really like this foundation. I have used it before. It's not new to me and I just like it. It gives you a nice kind of like natural luminous uh, finish on your face. And this color works well for me. Coverage is nice and... I just like it. I don't know. I can't really say too much about it. It does have that, what is it, blue light protection in here from your, you know, looking at the computer and your phone and stuff all day, which is really cool because I definitely do that. But I like this foundation. That's just pretty much all I have to say about it. It's a good foundation. I also chose the Too Faced Born This Way. This is the original foundation. 
And this one, I use the shade Spiced Rum. Now, I didn't use this for some reason. <laughs> I guess I just was really enjoying the Milani. So, I never even used this during my whole <laughs> shop mustache. <laughs> but I do like this foundation, you guys. I just didn't use it. So, it's going to go back. For concealer, I did choose the Tarte Shape Tape. And what shade do I have? Deep Sand. Yeah, so this was actually my first time trying this out, and I actually really like it. I was skeptical. I didn't think I was going to like it, because you know some things that are really hyped up, and you're kind of like, eh, what's all the hubbub about? But I actually really like it, and I really like this shade as well. It's not too bright, and it did a really good job of concealing, and it's not super drying or anything like that to where I couldn't blend it out after putting it, you know, all over my face, so... I like this, I would definitely use it again. Now quickly for setting and hydrating sprays, I did pick this Skin & Co. This is the Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh Mist Radiant Dew. It's so funny, I know I like this stuff already because I've used it several times in the past, but for some reason I didn't reach for this. I guess I wasn't really doing a lot of hydrating and refreshing over the past couple of weeks, probably because you know I am just indoors and stuff like that and Typically, you know, my face will release oils and as opposed to me needing to add moisture to it. So, yeah, I didn't really use this, but I already know that I do like this, but I'm going to put it back because, I don't know, I guess I didn't need it this week. Also, I chose the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Dewy Set Setting Spray. This stuff is a really, really good setting spray if you like, you know, more of a dewy finish, not necessarily a matte finish. Um, it can be a little confusing, like I've said before, because it is in this super glittery bottle, but there is no glitter in here. It's just a regular setting spray, and, you know, it just gives you a nice hydrated finish. I like this a lot. I really do, but I'm going to go ahead and try something else out. As you can see, I only have about this much left in here, so I do use this quite a bit. Okay, so for powders, the powders that I chose were this uh, Too Faced Peach Perfect. This is a loose powder, you know, a loose setting powder. And I only used it a couple of times. First time I felt like it was a little bit dry for under my eyes. But that time I used it with the sponge like I normally do, you know, tapping in and placing it under my eyes and pressing it in with the sponge. And I don't know, it was probably too much. I was using too much for this type of powder. But when I went in, in my last video, as you guys saw, if you watched it, where I did the blue eye look, this one um, worked out much better when I used it on a brush, just tapping a little bit on a brush and setting my highlighted areas. It worked really nice. So I actually really like this powder from using it that time. I still need to use it some more. This is the Translucent Caramelized Peach. And so, yeah, I will definitely pull this again in the future, but I'm going to try something else. And for face powder, I did pull this J-Cat Aquasurance. I already know this is one of my favorites. This one is, what shade is this? Espresso. Really, really love this. I use this, this is actually a powder foundation, but I use this to set my face. And for some reason, I didn't gravitate to this. I started using my Iman powder, which I already put back in the drawer. But <laughs> yeah, I was using my Iman powder, but I already know I like this. So it's, you know, no question to me. It's nothing new. I really like it a lot. Okay, so let's talk about some bronzers <laughs> that I pulled. I don't know what was going on, you guys. I know that I pulled some extra items throughout the last week or so that I was enjoying as well. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what was going on with me. I wasn't using all of my shop, my stash stuff. This is a bronzer in the shade Button from Beauty Bay. Yeah, Beauty Bay. You know, they came out with bronzers and blushes and stuff. So this one is in the shade Button. And I felt like I could use this kind of like as a contour just because it is a bit more cool tone. But I actually really liked it more so like as a bronzer. It was just a really, really deep, rich bronzer. Really nice shade. So I enjoyed this and they're very, very affordable from Beauty Bay. I also tried this Soul Body 
um what is it called a bronzing balm <laughs> i wanted to try this because it was different interesting you know it just kind of sparked my attention but it's a bronzing balm and so i just kind of used it with my sponge tapped some of this you know on my cheeks in the areas that i wanted to bronze and i actually liked it it's very very subtle the shade that i have is deep so you know it's not like super dark or super duper deep if you're darker skin tone than i am this might not even really show up that much because it was a very mild uh, bronzer for me and i don't know um i wouldn't say it's greasy you know that's what it looks like so i wouldn't say that it's greasy but it's definitely like a balm you know so you put it on very very subtle you just kind of tap it out blend it in or whatever but you can easily blend this away you know if you do too much on someone of a lighter skin tone it would show up a lot more you know as you can see but i think it's a really nice soft subtle bronzer for someone of my skin tone maybe for some of those um no makeup makeup days where you do still want to add a little bit of warmth to your cheeks then something like this um you know could work out nicely so i would say i like it but i'd only pull it for something very subtle now some other bronzers that i chose i chose this face palette here from revolution xx or xx revolution this is a dimension face palette very very pretty i like the packaging but yeah this is you know one of the three in ones with the bronzer the highlighter and the blush and looking at this bronzer you would think oh man that's really really deep really dark but when i use it it's a really nice bronzer shade it's not like super dark or look like a contour or anything it's a very nice bronzer shade the highlighter is really pretty the blush extremely pigmented okay so this palette is very pigmented so if you get this and use it just be careful because it's very pigmented i really like it a lot i would use this when i'm you know going for a bold super beat makeup look okay because you are really going to get pigmentation from this but it's very very nice also this was not a part of my shop my stash <laughs> But after I got this in my BoxyCharm, this is the Pure Face Palette. This is a 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Powders Face Palette. And I was blessed enough to get the Dark Deep, the right shade in my box, okay? And I just had to use it. So it's not part of my Shop My Stash from my last choices, but I did go ahead and throw this in with my makeup. I used it only once so far and fell in love with it. So this is definitely staying in my, you know, makeup drawer right now because I'm definitely going to play around with this more. It is so bomb. I really, really enjoyed it. So keeping this in. Now let's talk about these blushes and highlights that I chose. <laughs> I don't know I was just like not using everything this is a highlighter from MAC this is part of their newest holiday collection this one is the flare for the dramatic extra dimension skin finish and this is actually my first MAC highlighter that I have in my collection wanted to try it out so I picked it up very nice highlighter it's really pretty I like it it's not too like overpowering and bam in your face you can build it up and it works i think for my skin tone so i'm really glad that i tried it out this highlighter is really really pretty staying with the theme of highlighters i did pick this azteca highlighter palette this one is from glf cosmetics um i haven't tried anything else from them i don't think i do have um what is it a contour palette a blush palette I don't know I have another palette from them an eyeshadow palette that I picked up and so I wanted to try this out and you know honestly I think I used it once I know I swatched it of course as you can see but I was just like so focused on my MAC highlighter and <laughs> using other stuff that I'm not even sure if I use this but I know from the swatches that it is a really nice, pretty, you know, subtle type of highlight. Very nice and subtle. Nothing 
you know, outrageous. So, you know, those are like the deeper tones. Let me do the um, lighter ones. These, you know, I would only wear like for certain type of looks. You know, more so inner corner pop probably. But as you can see, it's not anything blinding or anything. So, I don't know. I guess maybe I just didn't gravitate to these this go round, but mm, yeah, I think I'm just going to put this back because for some reason it just was not appealing to me, but it's not that I don't like it. I just wasn't really feeling it. Okay. So for blushes. Now I talked about this blush in my last video. This I have been using. This is the elf. Um, what is it called? You would think I would know by now. Radiant peach. This blush oh, is gorgeous. I just love it. I love the shimmeriness. I love the peachiness. Very, very nice blush. If you're into like, you know, radiant type blushes, definitely try the e.l.f. ones because they're affordable and they're gorgeous. Now this duo from e.l.f. that I picked, I didn't even use this, you guys. Um, And I'm just like, dang girl, why didn't you use it? Because I really wanted to try this out. But yeah, I never got around to trying it. I got stuck on some other blushes and highlighters and just never tried it. So I actually think I'm going to keep this because I do want to play around with this. So I'm going to keep this one. I also chose this Folklore Sunkissed. Uh, this is one of their blush duos. And this one is the shade 06. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I've used other blushes in this same, you know, type, the duo blushes with the highlighter and the blush or the blush topper, I should say, and the blush. And I love them. They're really, really nice. Really, really great dupe for the cover effects. So I know I'm going to like this when I do eventually try it, but for whatever reason, I didn't use it. So I'm going to keep this because I think this is a really nice fall and winter shade. So I'm going to keep this in my stash for now. And lastly, for blush, <laughs> y'all know this uh, e.l.f. cream blush. I had this in for like the last two shot my stashes. And for whatever reason, I'm just not pulling it. Maybe I'm just not in the mood for a cream blush quad because I have been enjoying like my cream blush singles from e.l.f. and from Milani. So I don't know. I'm assuming that this is probably like the same formula. So it's not anything that I really need to stress over trying. Um, I really do like the e.l.f. cream blushes. So I don't know. Am I going to keep this, you guys? <sighs> I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this in my drawer just in case I decide to use a cream blush one day, then I know, you know, I can just use this palette. Okay, so I did go ahead and just grab all the palettes that I chose from my last Shop My Stash, just so I can run through those right quick and give you my thoughts. Um, this first one here is actually my own palette that I made from my Adept Single Shadows. There's actually a few missing out of here or a few that I switched out because I do have another palette over to the side that I'm working on <laughs> so I have switched out a couple of these shadows if it looks a little different to you but these adept shadows so nice so easy to blend so pigmented I love 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 their shadows so you know if you're looking for some single shadows to try out adept cosmetics their shadows are amazing so I did have fun playing with this I did a couple of looks um with it one of which i believe i put up yeah on instagram so yeah if you are interested these are really really nice okay next i have here this Too faced and marial amor caliente palette i did play with this as well it's basically like you know a red and pinky toned type of palette i really enjoyed using this i was actually quite surprised um, you know, just, I never know with Too Faced, but I really enjoyed using this palette. Created a nice pink and red type look. Um, I believe I have a video on that if you want to check it out, if you're curious, but I actually really like this palette. Nicely pigmented, very easy to use. So 
yeah that one as well i also chose this urban myth palette this was um my first purchase from black moon cosmetics i believe yeah i don't have anything else from them when i saw this palette i was like i have to have it it's just so pretty the colors in here are gorgeous now what i will say about this palette is I don't know it didn't really dazzle me as much as I thought it would don't know why um it, it's a nice enough palette the colors are pretty but I think the shimmers were just a bit just okay you know when I saw this palette I think I really expected it to just knock my socks off but it turned out to just be just okay so yeah, you know, I would say it's a decent palette. Is it a must-have? No, I don't think so. Not at all. Next here, I have my LA Girl Break Free Eyeshadow Palette. I chose this as well. Very pretty purple palette. Um, I did not use this palette. <laughs> as you can see, it still has the plastic on it and everything. I did not use this palette, and I'm not quite sure why. I feel like it's probably because I just never was in the mood to just do a purple look. So that's probably why I never just reached for it and used it. Gorgeous palette and I still do wanna try it out, but it just didn't get used this go round. Next I have here this Beauty Bay palette. This is the Book of Magic. This was the latest palette that I used from my Shop My Stash. Should be a video up on this by now, but yeah, this, palette is bomb okay <laughs> not just because you guys know i love blues and purples but the pigmentation on this palette is so so nice it is just so highly pigmented the color you see in the pan is the color you're going to get on your eye okay the shimmers are gorgeous really really pretty i really enjoyed using this had a good time i love when i use a palette and it makes my jaw drop <laughs> and that's what happened when i used this and it was actually on sale you know during like the black friday stuff it was on sale for like nine bucks so if you are thinking about it check and see if it's still on sale hopefully it's not too late but this palette i really enjoyed using next i have here the glam light ice cream palette this one is yeah the ice cream dream and really cute really cute packaging okay let's just go ahead and check out the packaging very cute adorable ice cream on the front but this palette <laughs> so pretty look at those colors you guys look at them the shimmers in this palette are so pretty so sparkly so shiny so gorgeous i really really love it and i love just the kind of like light pastel type feel you can get from this palette but it's very very pigmented so you know don't think that this palette does not have a punch when it comes to color because it does and it has a nice range of those really pretty, bright, beautiful, unique shades that you might be looking for in your collection. So I really like this palette. Really, really enjoyed using it. Next, I chose the Stone Cold Fox from ColourPop. I know a lot of you guys were pretty shocked when you saw me pick up this palette. <laughs> when you saw me buy it and then decide to actually use it, okay? I was pretty surprised by this palette. Um, it really has just kind of like a ho-hum basic neutral look to it but the shimmers in this palette are really pretty and it does kind of have like a bit of a like dusty rose um kind of tone to it you know i don't know if you can really see it or tell but at first glance it just kind of looks like your everyday basic neutral but it does it has that beautiful dusty rose kind of feel to it so it adds just that nice nice hint of color to your look so i really enjoyed using it i'm glad i picked it up and i think it's a great addition to my collection and i have a video i think for all of these palettes i think there's a video for it so i think i did pretty good actually with my palettes from this shop my stash you guys know sometimes i pull a million palettes and i never get to them all but this time, I just have that one that I didn't use from LA Girl, so I'm proud of myself. This one is the Naughty Palette from BH Cosmetics, okay? I don't think I've heard a bad review about this palette yet, anywhere, anybody. Everybody loves this palette, okay? 
Why? Because it's bomb. <laughs> it is bomb. The color story is very beautiful, very unique. You can do so much with this palette. You got your greens, your purples, your reds, your warm earthy tones. It's just really, really nice. The shimmers are gorgeous. There's even glitters in here that aren't that super duper annoying chunky type glitter you know they're more of that kind of fine you know more silky type glitter so even if you hate glitter you can still love this palette because it's bomb okay <laughs> so yeah i really enjoyed using this as well i really want to use this some more since it's like you know their holiday palette naughty and whatnot <laughs> i do want to use this some more especially these greens in here they're just really pretty these burgundies oh, gorgeous so yeah really enjoyed this as well so it was a really really good shop my stash for palettes um this go round you guys the palettes were just all amazing i didn't have any bad experiences so let's just go ahead and pick some new stuff okay you guys so now i'm just gonna go ahead and pick a foundation as you guys can see i cannot i have no room whatsoever for any foundation i cannot buy another single solitary foundation because where am i gonna put it right look at this thing this thing is completely full so yeah i need to just like chill out um now i did use my nyx born to glow recently and i did say that i was going to pull that because this foundation you guys yes it is on point i love the glowy luminous finish I love the tone, the color, the coverage, everything about it. I really, really like. So I'm going to pull this for sure. And I'm going to pull one more because I typically like to have at least two options for foundation. Now this I'm scared to try. I picked up this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. Now you guys know how I feel about um, full coverage foundation and with this being a tinted moisturizer i'm literally scared to use it but i do want to try it though so i should probably pull this huh just to try it okay if i try it and i don't like it then i will pull another foundation but i'm gonna go ahead and pull this just to try it out okay so i gotta pull one more foundation <laughs> i have to be secure with another foundation okay um I kind of want to do another drugstore since I do have the NYX. Mm, you know what? Let me use a Old Faithful. This here, I always know because it has the white top. Now, I've had this for a minute. This is my Maybelline, the 24-hour uh, Superstay one. Now, this one, ride or die. I mean, excellent bomb foundation. What do I have? 360 Mocha? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this. It looks like I need to try and finish it up anyway. So we'll pull this. Okay, you guys. So back over here at the serums and moisturizers. Um, I pretty much already know what I want to use for a serum. I just got a new, where is it at? Oh, here it is right here in front. Duh. I just picked this up, I think from the boxy pop-up or did I get this in my boxy charm? I don't know, but this is the Farsali Quench. It says moisture replenishing serum and it's something I feel like I really want to try. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this to use as a serum and you know what i need to come back over here because i need to pick my moisturizer now i did um I'm try not to make a mess oops now i did use this title from sunday riley recently and oh my gosh i i used it so much i thought that i had actually pulled this for my shop my stash <laughs> which i did not I really like this stuff, you guys. It's very, very nice. So I am going to pull this. Okay, so now I'm going to come back over here um, and get my setting sprays. I also was using my Morphe setting mist. I only used it once and I realized, you know what, I need to use this because I have quite a few of them, as you can see. So I need to go ahead and start using this. 
loved it back in the day stopped using it for a while so i'm gonna go ahead and start using this again now i also want to pull one more setting mist or setting spray um oh tart miracuja miracle mist hmm i have not tried this I'm pretty sure I got this in my boxy charm or boxy pop-up. So yeah, I'm gonna pull this and try it. I haven't used it yet, so let's see what's happening with this. Okay, and lastly, I do need to pick a primer. So let me, um, I kinda wanna do a drugstore. And I've kinda been feeling like I wanna use my e.l.f. Jelly Pop. Should I use the milk? Um, I'm gonna do the elf jelly pop because I've been kind of really wanting to use this I really like this stuff. I have this little sample as well as you can see is a larger one back there So I'm gonna go ahead and try and finish up this little sample of the dew primer Okay, you guys so I'm over here at my drawers and I want to go ahead and pick a eyeshadow primer. I've been using my P. Louise base for quite a while, and I do kind of want to try something else out. Um, I have here this Ulta Matte Eye Primer. I haven't tried this out yet. I believe I picked this up on sale. Or did I get this as a sample? I don't know, you guys, but I think I'm going to try this out and see if I like it or not. If not, I'm just going to go back to my P. Louise. Okay, so now I need to find a highlighter. Um, you know what? I actually have an idea already of the highlighter that I want to use. Mm, yeah, yeah. Here it is. This Dior Backstage. I just got this recently from like Sephora, I believe. And I really want to try this out and see how it looks on me. So I have the shade Copper Gold. And yeah, this is really, really pretty. So we're going to try this out this go round. Ooh, give me glow. Sunset glow. Have I tried this, you guys? I don't recall trying this out. Ooh. That's pretty. It looks like I swatched it. Man, I don't recall trying this. California Dreaming. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this as well. <laughs> and, hmm. One more, one more. Mm. This Charlotte Tillsbury highlighter. This is new to me as well. Let me open it. Okay, this is what it looks like opened. That is very, very pretty. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm going to try this one out as well. Very pretty. Okay, bronzer. Ooh, right off top. I haven't used my Kosas bronzer in a while. And this bronzer is really, really nice, you guys. It really is. It smells funny to me, but it works amazing, so... <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and pull this since I haven't used it in a while. I have the shade Deep. Mm, let's see. What else? What else? Do I want to pull this Charlotte Tillsbury bronzer since I'm using the highlighter? Mm, let's take a look. Now that's a nice bronzer. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that we're going to go ahead and pull this bronzer as well to go with the highlighter. Now let's go ahead and grab a mascara. I have quite a few new mascaras in here um, because I did purchase that like sampler pack from Sephora. So I do have quite a few new um, mascaras that I can try. This Pat McGrath. Mm, should I try this one? Let me check it out. I don't know you guys. Uh, I don't know. She looks a little dry. Is it normal for... The Pat McGrath formula that looks so dry. It looks a little dry to me. Let me keep looking. Okay, so this one is the Nabla Major Pleasure. Mm, she looks a little bit more juicy to me. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and try out the Nabla. Because she looks a little bit better to me. Next, I need a concealer. And this one is actually going to be kind of easy. 
Um, part of me wants to keep the Tarte concealer because I really liked it. But I think I'm going to play around with this Too Faced Born This Way concealer. When I first bought this, um, you know, I felt like the color was too light and was using it more so as an eyeshadow base but i was playing around with it not too long ago just kind of blending it out and stuff and i actually want to try this out and see how it works with my foundation and my skin tone um i have the shade caramel so we'll see but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull this now i'm not gonna pull any blushes you guys i have i have too many blushes already that I forgot to use wait 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 <laughs> I spoke too soon I forgot I had this new ColourPop blush you know it's part of that new boudoir collection or whatever it's called and I picked this out it's kind of like one of that you know that like sandy peachy type shade I love these type of blushes and I do want to play with this <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this. It's Love Story. And, yeah, I got so many blushes, though, but I'm going to pull this. Let's see what else. I have so many blushes, you guys, that I haven't used. That's probably why I be pulling so many blushes, because I really have too many blush. Okay, so now I need to just go ahead and get a face powder to set my face. Um, you know what? This full spectrum from CoverGirl that's right here on top, I have not used this in quite a while. It's the Matte Ambition. And I have the shade Deep Neutral 2. And this worked out really, really nicely for me when I used it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this. Just keep it nice and easy. And now I need a loose powder for under my eyes. Ah, mm. uh, I just got this Juvia's uh, during one of their sales. You know, they always have in sales. So, yeah, I think I'm going to pull this. It looks like kind of like a banana powder, huh? What is this? Calamari? <laughs> Kalahari. <laughs> such a dork okay so yeah calamari not kala kalahari not calamari oh get it together girl okay so i'm gonna pull this for under my eyes and see what happens okay so lastly you guys i know i have quite a sack here of palettes i know it's a lot and i had you know decided i wasn't gonna pull so many palettes in the future because i don't really get around to them even though i did do really really good on this last stack of palettes, I used almost all of them except for just one. The reason why I pulled so many palettes this go round is because I want to start doing more of the little quick one, two minute uh, tutorials on Instagram. And I feel like I can do more of those than regular tutorials on YouTube because they're a lot easier to edit and upload. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I am going to start putting more of my eye shadow looks and makeup tutorials on there, okay? That's a goal I have for myself. So anyways, this is my stack for this Shop My Stash. I did pull one of my Revolution Pro palettes. This one is the Ultimate Eye Look Palette in Wild Onyx. Very cute packaging, but let me show you what this looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little four pan palette. Um, has kind of like satins and shimmers in there, but very, very pretty for like a holiday smoky look. So I wanna play around with this. I also pulled my Juvia's Place Sweet Pinks. I purchased these when they came out with the pinks, the taupes, and what was the other one? I don't know, the mauves, who knows? But I got this and have been dying to use it. Have not used it yet. Look at those colors, you guys. Oh, pinks are just gorgeous. And you guys know I don't care if it's November or December. I'll still put on a pink eye look. <laughs> so I did pull that. I also pulled this Ornate palette from ColourPop. It was, you know, part of their threesome that they released. Um, and so, so pretty, but I picked this one because I always tend to lean towards the blue. 
So of course the dark blue one was really calling me, but I decided to go ahead and choose this one. So I could do something a little bit different, you know, with the red and the gold and kind of smoke it out with the black and see what happens. So pulled that. I also pulled this peppermint mocha palette from Ruby May. One of the palettes that I got in <laughs> my last haul. And, you know, it's one of their holiday palettes. Very, very pretty color story. The super deep, dark, like forest greens in here. And then you got the burgundy, the reds, the browns. It's just really, really pretty. So I want to play around with this and see how creative I could be with these colors. I also picked this BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Pistachio Palette. Oh my gosh, I about died over this palette when I bought it, when the collection came out and I did my little swatch party. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think these two shades, this dark green shimmer and this dark green matte, just really, really have me in a headlock. This shimmer over here, it's just really pretty. And I want to go ahead and do like a super duper green, either cut crease or maybe a um, halo eye or something with this, but I really, really wanna play with this. It's so freaking pretty. Next, I have the At Forest Sight from the Christian ColourPop collab. Of course, you guys knew I was picking this up. I love my girl, Christy. Everybody loves Christy. And <laughs> by the time this video was up, she might've had her baby, so. Very excited about that. Wanted to uh, play with this, so I definitely put this in the mix this week. I also have this palette from an indie brand that I haven't tried yet, SS Chic. You might have seen this in my um, haul video from, I don't know, about a month ago or so. And these colors are just really, really pretty. Super duper pretty. I mean, the packaging, like I said, is not the greatest because it's just a sticker with their name on it. <laughs> but the colors in the palette, absolutely gorgeous. And I really, really want to try this out. It's very, very pretty. Next here, I have my side-by-side -side nude palette from Nabla. I did get this in my Trend Mood box when she partnered with Nabla. This came in there. So it's just a basic neutral palette. But I do want to do a basic neutral look. So I figure this is the perfect palette to use it did come with some glitters well it didn't come with some glitters but I got some glitters in that box as well I'm not sure if I'm going to use them these are the glitters that came you know in that box you know along with this Nabla palette and they are absolutely gorgeous so I don't know I might use these I might not also I have this Hera I think it's Hera palette from Ditto Cosmetics. Uh, yeah, I came across this brand and this palette, I think, on Butte Bean's channel, Betty Jean's channel. She used it, did some looks with it, and I was like, yo, that is my type of palette, okay? So I believe I showed this before, um, either in a haul or something like that, but I haven't used it yet. This I definitely want to make a point to use because it's kind of a challenge for me. With the blues, the reds, the yellows and stuff, sometimes it's kind of tricky putting those in one eye look without blending them together and creating secondary colors. So I want to try and create an eye look that maintains the red, the blue, and the yellow without turning it into orange and green. So yeah, this is going to be a challenge for me and I really want to play with it. Next, I have here the singles that I have chosen to play with for this Shop My Stash. These... Hold your breath, you guys. Hold your breath. These are <laughs> my Lethal Cosmetics singles. As you can see, they are not even swatched, okay? Had a little bit of issue with the yellow one, so it might look swatched, but yeah. Brand new Lethal Cosmetics shadows that I have not tried out yet and haven't even swatched them, so definitely want to do a couple of looks with these. Very, very pretty. And lastly, I did go ahead and throw the Be Perfect Carnival 3 into this Shop My Stash because I have not used it yet. Um, it took me forever to get it and I was a little annoyed, but I think I'm ready to use it now. <laughs> so yeah, definitely going to play around with this. Those greens are kind of calling my name, the purples as well, but we'll see what happens, okay? So yeah, I'm going to play with this.
So this is my shot my stash, you guys, for the first two weeks, at least of November. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to choose my items to use. Hopefully you had a good time. If you did, don't forget to hit that like, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!